guys, it's me, Layla Sinclair, and I am back with another YouTube video, which will be yet another fragrance review, and it will be from the line of Swiss Arabian again. So, you know, I've already done reviews on Casablanca, um, Florence, and no, Valencia, and now we're doing the review on Florence. It has taken me a while to get to this one, and I will let you know why, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. It looks just like the box for the other ones, right? Um... The bottle looks the same. I don't know why online this bottle looks pink. And I feel like that's misleading because the juice is like this peachy, orangish color. Um, but yeah, I remember like looking at it online and, or maybe like an amber, a light amber, if that's a thing. Um, but it definitely is not pink like it looks on some things online. So yeah. So anyways, let's uh, first get into the notes. Notes are, the top notes are lemon, water. Let me get my glass. I'm playing myself. I don't have my contacts in. Lemon, top notes are lemon, water notes, bergamot. Middle notes are rose, vanilla, praline. And the base notes are musk, sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. Some, some things sound really good in there, don't they, right? Well... I'm sorry to say that I have reached the first Swiss Arabian scent that is just, I'm really not feeling. Like with, I already told you all about Valencia and I was kind of teeter-tottering with that one, but I told you why, you know, and which had a good reason. But this one, it's not that it smells bad. It just doesn't say my name. It, I mean, I'm not a person to return things because I just don't like going through the hassle. But I got this online, so the price is it's about $45 to $60. Um, I paid somewhere in between there. And I was like, I don't really want to have wasted it. And I got it off Amazon. I was like, I could just get that money back and, like, you know, spend on another fragrance. But, y'all, you cannot return perfume. Did you know that? You can't return perfume on Amazon because uh, they say it's flammable. Why can I buy something flammable, but I can't send something flammable back? Like, let's make it make sense. But anyways, it doesn't smell bad, so. I do get the bergamot. I do get the praline. I do get the sandalwood. Cedar. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I don't really sound like so excited about it. My caffeine, I guess, is worn off and it's just not doing it for me. It's just, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't, when I put on my perfume in the morning or in the middle of the day or whenever I put it on, I want to feel like, mmm, I smell good. Like, when somebody walks past me, I want them to be like, mmm, she smells good. But this doesn't do that. And I was so shocked, y'all. I was kind of sad because I feel like people were like hyping this up. People were like, oh, if you like Casablanca, is either if they compared this to Casablanca or Shagaf Oud, which I'm done with that bottle. I actually ordered another one of the Shagaf Oud. Um, they said it was like a lighter version of it, I think. I don't know, but I'm not feeling it. I've like, I'm not wasting it. Like, as you can see, like I've used, you know, some of it, like I'm using it to like, one, I actually wore it today for the review, but also just cause I'm like trying to make myself like it. I've had it a couple weeks. I've been wearing it so often, trying to make myself like it. And I'm just, I have to accept that I don't. If I went through the trouble of, the trouble of trying to return it, I just have to accept that it's not me. It's, it's not for me, I don't like it. But I like spray my home with it or spray my uh, bed sheets with it or wear it to bed at night just to use it because I don't want to feel like I wasted it. I guess I could give it away as a gift, but I've kind of maybe used too much. So maybe if somebody just is in my place and they're like, oh, can I have this? I just give it to them because it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> I really don't know what else to say about it. Like, 
I, there's, I can't really think of something that I can compare it to, but it's not like it's unique. If I ever change my mind, I'll do an updated review. Like, I feel like I'm gonna keep trying to change my mind, but I'm not feeling it. I think there are some people that will really, really like this though. Like I said, it's just for me, it doesn't give me that, mm, that I like when I'm selecting fragrances for myself. So, sad case, sad case is going back in the box. And it is what it is. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll be back with a, a more positive review on another fragrance <laughs> or something else. But I really hope you all have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and enjoy seeing my face. Uh, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.